Well, guys, thank you for showing up again, listening to the channel, having a good time. So we are out there today going to be at my favorite park and I'm just going to be picking up, you know, right at about the, um, you know, the, the point where I'm going to be using my Sigma 150 to 600, just kind of freehanding it and just kind of wondering, I, I, I didn't want to use the gimbal and the tripod today. I just didn't feel like using it. Um, you know, I do like to be able to have that range of motion to be able to look down, look up, look at right away without having to try to set um, something up or try to move something to get to it. By the time you do it, usually birds are gone. So anyway, I am having some issues too with the R5. Um, some kind of error message coming up every now and then and the pictures won't save to the camera. So. Uh, every now and then that happens. It doesn't happen much, but every now and again. So I need to probably have it serviced and figure out what's going on. Um, some kind of error 20 or something pops up, some message. Um, anyway, but yeah, I'm just having a little bit of fun. You know, guys, thank you for being kind. You know, these videos are for family, for friends. You know, people just want a little bit of information. Um, you know, most of my reviews are not going to be technically sound. You know, this is not the Jared Poland uh, channel or Tony or, or, or Chelsea Northrup, you know, channel. Um, so, you know, I just try to keep everything simple here. Not too much detail. At the same time, though, you know, trying to let you know if it's a good review for certain equipment or not. So we're looking at a couple of lenses today and... Um, just having fun with it. I really didn't use the 70 to 200 today. I probably use that more another day. Uh, today was more long distance uh, shooting. So anyway, guys, thanks for joining. Listen up. Um, so we'll see what we can get. Hopefully we can maybe even get some bunny rabbits to look at. We'll see how it goes. I'm gonna do some video as well. Should have done some video of the bird anyway. I'm gonna get some video of the ducks and maybe some other birds and we'll see how that goes. Haven't really tried the video on this camera yet, so I'm looking forward to trying the video out. At some point, I'm gonna be brave and <coughs> do the 8K. Yes, I said 8K. 8K video on Canon R5. But I'll get back to you guys in a minute. Alright, so here we are shooting, and uh, as you can see, I'm using the 150 to 600 Sigma. The reason why it's so silent is because I'm using the electronic shutter, uh, about 30 frames a second, and it's just the silent mode. So you're not going to hear any shutter speeds or any shutter clicks um, for this segment. So, pretty much, I'm trying to shoot a bird here. And I'm gonna be also trying to look for more ducks and whatever else I can get my hands on there to shoot. Test out the lens a little bit. Make sure I changed, uh, cause I changed a few settings. So I'm just kind of seeing how the changes were made um, and how they affect the lens a little bit. I used the USB dock that you had to purchase separately for the lens to hook up to the computer to make some subtle changes. Uh, you can change uh, the focal length a little bit, how long or how far or how close you want to shoot. Um, you can kind of, you know, uh, assign some custom settings as well inside the uh, camera lens itself without having to actually physically do it manually. So anyway, <laughs> here we go. Got a bird right here. It's going to take off. I know it is. So I'm trying to get those shots. And I will show you some pictures of what I got here in a little bit. We had a real nice time. This is a little bit of a shorter video. So if, it, if there's anything that you guys want me to do or you have any comments, please leave them below. You can see I'm getting close to the water. I'm kind of checking for gators and stuff. I don't like them, you know, coming up on me. Sometimes they sneak around a little bit. So you kind of got to watch that. 
thought I saw a rabbit there, but it wasn't. It was a duck, and uh, so I had to readjust my focus. I'm trying to really shoot between the grass blades and uh, the weeds and stuff and everything. So it's working out pretty good. I mean, the the, the Canon autofocus is fantastic on the R5. So this lens is fantastic. Big thumbs up for it. And I look forward to using it in the future on a gimbal. Let me know, guys, your comments, what you think of it, and what you think of some of the pictures. Here you go.